The wait continues, gang, but what is going on, Outlaws? Once again, Michael or Legacy Kill HD back another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you. Although Rockstar has been very quiet about their next game, they have been quietly active in removing leaks, and today we're going to be discussing another possible character that may have been leaked and some voice actor connections that have been discovered that could indicate who the Mysterious Center character really is and who this Magnificent Seven is. But before we get to that, if you haven't already, make sure to check my second channel, Legacy Kill at TV, out and consider subscribing. I should have about five videos going up today on that channel. Channel, two of which are new episodes of the Red Dead Redemption walkthrough series finally, and the others are a part of a new series where I discuss huge gaming topics like the biggest fear of Red Dead Redemption 2. So make sure to give that a look, all the links are in the description below, but let us begin now. As most of you who have followed closely these last couple of weeks, a few very interesting key casting leaks have come about, such as an actor claiming to do the motion capture of Dutch Vanderlyn in Red Dead Redemption 2, which pretty much confirms our theories of this game being a prequel, and another actor, Ethan Corver, confirming a small cowboy role within this game. But these voice actor leaks continue as another actor, Roger Grunwald, has listed on their resume for a role in an upcoming Rockstar game as mentioned, a German psychiatrist. After this was discovered by the team at GTA forums within maybe a few hours, the actor's resume was updated removing these details, which again is Rockstar going out of their way to try and prevent any leaks. Now the thing is about this leak is that it's not certain this is for Red Dead Redemption 2, although this could be a character similar to Mueller who was featured in Red Dead Redemption and also was a bad sport at poker, but this also could be evidence that the Agent game is still coming. We know there is another game being developed by Rockstar Toronto before Grand Theft Auto 6 around 2018 or 2019, and this very much could be it. This could be bad news for fans that are hopeful for a bully too. And moving right along, next we have some amazing investigator work by GTA Forms user Nude who may have discovered some huge huge connections with voice actors for Red Dead Redemption 2. But you have to listen closely because there's going to be a lot of names thrown around. He starts off by telling of Roger Clark, who we're going to be talking a lot about in this video, who recently in January followed the voice actor of Bill Williamson, Steve J. Palmer, and the voice actor of Dutch Vanderlyn, Benjamin Byron Davis on Twitter. So this GTA Forms user ended up using a Twitter program to find similarities with followers and found a very unique connection. It begins with Peter Blumquist, who played in another Rockstar game, L.A. Noir, as Harlan Fontaine, and he is following Roger Clark, Benjamin Byron Davis, and Gabriel Sloyer Cerrone, who we'll be discussing a lot more in just a moment, but he is also followed by Roger Clark, Benjamin Byron Davis, and Gabriel as well. And Peter certainly may be involved in Red Dead Redemption 2, serving in some type of role, possibly being a part of Dutch's gang. And next we have his Gabriel Real Slur Cerrone, who is best known for Netflix's Narcos, but he is also linked with Rockstar appearing as a minor role in Grand Theft Auto V, and he is followed by Roger Clark, Benjamin Byron Davis, Steve J. Palmer with his old account, and Peter Blumquist, and is followed by these same four individuals, although the only difference is Steve J. Palmer's new Twitter account is following him that was created at the end of 2016. Again, this is another person that is believed to be a part of Dutch's gang, or one of the characters that is on the poster. But hopefully you guys are gathering a connection, there's about five individuals who seem to be connected with Red Dead Redemption. Redemption 2 and they're all following each other and all this happened recently, such as Roger Clark following the voice actor of Dutch Vanderlyn, Bill Williamson at the end of January. But now we have his Benjamin Byron Davis who is the voice actor obviously of Dutch Vanderlyn in Red Dead Redemption and he's following Steve J. Palmer, his old Twitter account, Peter Blumquist and Gabriel Slur Cerrone and is followed by Roger Clark, Steve J. Palmer, both new and old Twitter account, Peter Blumquist and Gabriel Slur Cerrone. And next is Steve J. Palmer who is the voice actor for Bill Williamson in Red Dead Redemption and is following Roger Roger Clark, Benjamin Byron Davis, and Gabriel Slur Cerrone, and is followed by the three as well. But lastly, and most importantly, we have his Roger Clark, an Irish-American actor, which is now believed to be the center character of Red Dead Redemption 2. As mentioned before, he is following Benjamin Byron Davis and Steve J. Palmer, as well as Peter Blumquist and Gabriel Slur Cerrone, and is followed by Steve J. Palmer, his new Twitter account, Peter Blumquist, and Gabriel Slur Cerrone. And to tie all this together, I want you to listen to Roger Clark narrate in a National Geographic documentary, and then afterwards, the mysterious voice within the first Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer. These herds of black buck always gather in the grasslands to prove their worth, as mindful does stand watch. For the poor bucks, it's war. Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. To me personally, these voices sound very similar. Obviously within the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer there's a stronger southern accent, which goes with the game being western, but there's a reason why these five individuals began following one another on Twitter, and that is probably because of their work together on Red Dead Redemption 2. And if it matters, Rob Weedoff, the voice actor of John Marston, doesn't have a Twitter account anymore, although weirdly enough he's been missing in action on Facebook since September, so this very much could be the main cast of Red Dead Redemption 2 and possibly an early Dutch's gang. The last thing I want to add is in regards to our next 
next reveal. Rockstar has continued to remain quiet about Red Dead Redemption 2, but Grand Theft Auto Online updates are still continuing. But if this goes in tune with how they revealed the game, once they go completely missing in action and there isn't any active Grand Theft Auto Online events, that will probably be when we get our next reveal or information. And I still believe April will be that month if this game is coming in October, which Rockstar Games usually ends up marketing their games about six months before release. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value. And let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on these voice actors and their connections. Also again, make sure to check my second channel for more Red Dead content. And remember, Outlaws to the end.